All right, thanks for joining me in today's video. And today what I wanna do is share with you some insight on how to go ahead and sell puts for monthly income when you are retired, and how this really works, and how is this feasible? Because it's not like trading uh, stock, because with stock, you need some movement. With an option, if you're selling puts for monthly income, you do prefer for the stock to go up because you're selling a put, so you're bullish. Uh, but in fact, the stock could actually go sideways, which is not the same thing as you know trading stock, like most people think from a, a book basis, right? It's not like just buying shares of stock, hoping it goes up and then selling it later. In fact, in this case, you can also calculate how much puts or how many contracts you need to do in order to, let's say, generate $1,000 a month or $3,000 a month or $10,000 a month, depending on how much you need for retirement. So if you'd like to have a certain lifestyle, um, then you can actually calculate that. Whereas when you buy a stock, you really don't know how far it'll go. Whereas when you're selling puts, you can know exactly how much you've sold Granted, you will have some risk that will be tied and associated to that. Okay, so let's take a quick peek at this. Uh, we're gonna look at this on the platform. And if you're actually interested in more one-on-one -on, -one on your personal situation and work together by let's say video and uh, give you some insight on this topic and give you some calculations. Uh, you can book a uh, video coaching call uh, right here on our website. Just go to tradersfly.com and um, check out some of the things over there. There's plenty of other courses and stuff. Okay, let's go in and uh, give you some ideas here for selling puts for monthly income. So as we take a look at selling for monthly income, in many cases for a stock for you to make money, it's got to go up, up a little bit or up a lot. If it goes sideways, you don't make money. However, by selling a put, it can actually, you win with put options. You can win four out of five times. With a stock, you're kind of winning one out of, well, sorry, two out of five times. But you could win three out of five times if you get a dividend. But again, not every stock pays a dividend. So really when it comes down to it, um, when you're dealing with the options you can win if the stock even is pulling back going sideways going up slowly or going up a lot okay so when we look at stock movement this is kind of a, a nice benefit also if you're looking at uh the construction of the put the way that it's set up is like this so you sell one and then what happens is is if the price is here okay and i'm looking at here is the stock price and we might have different prices here okay so this would be like let's say fifty dollars a share sixty dollars seventy eighty ninety and you sell the put at let's say fifty you say hey i'm willing to take that stock at fifty and once you're willing to take that stock at fifty what they're doing is they're giving you a premium of let's say seventy five dollars Okay, every premium is going to be a little different. They're giving you $75 to give you 30 days to say, hey, well, if the stock goes down there, you're insuring me, and then you're going to take that stock off my hand. So what it will do is, okay, well, with time, this premium erodes. In the same way that a cell phone bill, let's say you stop your plan, you're paying, let's say, $50 a month, and you stop halfway through. Well, instead of 30 days for 50, well, what you're going to do is on 15 days, you might pay only $25. So this is what's going to happen is with time, this will erode and decay. And by selling this uh, out here, it gives you range for the stock from going from 80 to, let's say, 50. You've got some range. So that stock can do anything. And this is where this is works out really well, where if, even if it pulls back slowly, you're still going to be just fine and okay. The problem is, is when the stock crashes down and really goes, let's say, to like 30, well, now you have to buy the stock for 50. And that's the downside with this. But what's great about it is like, look, if you're selling for $75, Okay, well, how many contracts do you need to be able to make, let's say, $3,000 per month? Or how many contracts do you need to make $2,000 a month? Now you can get a simple calculation. And this is where this works out really well. So let's go to an example here on the uh, panel, and I'm going to show you uh, how this works. Okay, so I've got to put here sold on a trade example from one of the courses. So it's coming in from one of the courses that I have available. So we're going to be listing one of these trades examples. So I put in examples and you guys can watch these examples on the courses. But the way that this works is take a look. I sold a put on CVX. Okay, so CVX, if you didn't know, it's Chevron Corp. So here's all the option contracts. The stock price is 162 right now at the time of this. Okay. And then if we take a look at this, I sold that contract 
right here. Let me get my drawing tool going here. Okay, so I sold that contract at 157. Uh, it's not drawing. Okay, 157 right there. Okay, so I, no drawing, I guess, today. 157 and a half, okay, for $71 or 71 cents. And then you can see as it expires, $71 is right there. So at expiration, we got one line that's today, one line that's at um, expiration. So the white line's today, green line at expiration. So right now, current price is 162, 162.63, and I am up $67. The most I can make is 71. So I've sold for $71, and I'm up already 67 on it. So it tells you with one contract, okay, how much did I make or I'm making? And um, you know, if the stock pulls back, then that contract starts to get more risky and that's where I can actually lose money because I will get assigned at 157 and a half. At this point, I get the stock at 157, but if I like the stock at 160, it'd be nice to take it at 157. If I like the stock at 162, I'd take it at 157. So what you're doing is you're saying, hey, I'm willing to take that stock at a lower value and for waiting, for making that deal, for making that handshake, uh, they are giving you a premium or a little bit of a uh, capital to say, hey, in case it goes down, are you willing to take the stock for 157? Sure, I'll do that. But you pay me a little bit of money to insure you and to take that risk off your uh, hand. Because if it goes to 140, I still got to take it at 157 and a half. Okay. So this is what you're doing. Now, let's say I wanted to go ahead and um, and sell a bunch of premium or figure out how much money do I or how much contracts do I need to sell each month? Let's say this is a 30 day to be able to make, let's say, a thousand dollars a month. Well, on CBX here, the stock is 162. I could sell the premium at, let's say, 155. Okay, well, I get at $170 or $1.70 for a contract. Each contract's worth 100 shares, so times 100. So there you go. You can see if I sell this, I can make $170. Okay, with time. Okay, what's going to happen is if I move the date forward, okay, every day I make about six or seven dollars a day. So this starts to increase the profit and loss every day as I move the date forward, I'm up 70, 80 dollars, and so on. Okay, so with time that continues to go. So the most I can make is 170. So how much do I need to make to let's say I'm trying to aim for a thousand dollars every month? Well, think about it. I make 170 for one. I got to increase it to about six, okay? Six times 170 will give me $1,020. Now, that doesn't mean I win every single one. So what's the issue with doing it like this? It's assuming you win 100% of the trades. So now you could say, well, maybe I'll look to try and make $2,500 and come out with you know a few losses here and there. And then maybe I'll actually be making a thousand dollars a month. So if I'm aiming for two thousand, maybe some months you make, uh, you know, seventeen hundred. Other months you lose nine hundred. Other months you make twenty two hundred. Other months you lose, you know, a little bit. So in the end, maybe if you aim for twenty five hundred, you come out with a thousand or twelve hundred bucks on average between ten or twelve months. Okay. So now we've got about fifteen contracts that I need to sell at this for this stock at this level to roughly generate about it, let's say $1,000 a month. And this is how you can see, well, now I have some reliability or consistency, a possibility of consistency in this. Because if the stock stands still right here, if the stock stands still, I make money. If it goes up, because here's our, our um, stock price, if it goes up, I make money. So you can see that right here. As it goes up, you make money. There's $400, $600, $800. If it goes down, you kind of lose the value of that. So you'll be losing money if you get out of it early. But with time, that decay happens. So even if it pulls back a bit later, you could get out for possibly just a break even, okay? Or peel off half your contracts or a little bit like that. So anyway, your big risk here is at that 155 price level. You'd have to take a bunch of shares of stock or get out of this for a losing trade. Um, in most cases, you might say, well, look, I'm trying to make 2000 bucks. Well, if I'm down, let's say 3000, I'd get out and I try that again because you don't want to be down maybe, let's say 8000 right away. Uh, but you have to be mindful when you're doing this. You might eventually there will be a time you get a sign. But this is the basic concept to selling these puts 
to generating a monthly income or consistent income during retirement. Uh, there's other things you can do, like sell calls. You can sell covered calls. Um, you can generate uh, income through iron condors. I'm just giving you a basic concept of how this is starting out. You might go into verticals, at the money verticals, which are great, you know, $2 risk, uh, or sorry, $2 wide, you give a dollar risk. Uh, really nice strategies out there, and they're more advanced for doing anything like butterfly spreads for going for the expected move and getting those butterflies to get into those levels and taking off premium and profits. So a lot of good things that you can actually do uh, with these trades, but it just comes down to your experience level and what you're trying to accomplish. But this is a starting point for a lot of people into understanding how does one actually generate or make money online by trading options and selling puts is one of those ways. So if the stock stands still, you make money, goes up, you make money, goes down a little bit, you make money. If it goes down a lot, now you're in a little bit of trouble. But if it stands still, you're pulling in this theta, which is the time decay because all options decay with time and with time you collect that theta or premium right here so that's really what's happening here in those cases and that's exactly what happened here with this cvx position that i have for this single one contract which again it's only about 60 70 bucks but with time you can add more to it anyway hope that helps and gives you some insight to um, trading options and just the basics of how you might make some income for retirement, during retirement, or project forward into making money by selling puts um, as you continue to evolve and develop your skills. If you're interested in working together, definitely check out the website at tradersfly.com. I'd be happy to help you out, work with you, especially for motivated individuals. Anyways, thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.